Hi Taurus, welcome to your August Love Tarot reading. This is Mary and this is Sunlight Insight Tarot. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome, welcome, and thank you, thank you. So Taurus, gonna take a look and see what's going on for you for the month of August regarding love. It could be past, present, and future. We're just gonna take it as it comes. So it's up to you to use your own discernment whether or not this resonates for you. If something comes up here you have no interest in whatsoever, it's probably not your reading. I do have to make that clear. So please do keep that in mind. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, general collective reading. Again, take what resonates, throw away the rest, including the signs mentioned. Uh, cross watchers are welcome. Could be a reading for you. And you can definitely switch energies around anytime you feel the need to. So we have here Universal Heart and Heaven on Earth. Wow. So <laughs> you could be coming into a connection here where you're creating your own Heaven on Earth with this person being one of the same heart emotions feelings love um very i'm getting a very calm peaceful energy it could be maybe a newer relationship and it's starting to deepen at this time and maybe you're wondering hmm I, you know is this really going to go the distance do they feel the same way i do um is this going to deepen and i would say yes so let's see where this is going taurus so welcome in, welcome in. Hope everyone's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. So Taurus, everything you need to know, especially if you are new here, is down below in the description box. So please check that out if you would like to. Your July readings are down there. My Patreon is down there. Private reading information is down there. And I do usually do extendeds, but I've cut back just a little tiny bit. So I've only, I'll only be doing extendeds for the no contact readings in the you versus them readings but i may be adding some new content to the channel we'll see how it goes may not be love related um so if you're interested in that keep a lookout for that all right for taurus okay, this one and this one oh we have three all right taurus taurus what do we have for you wolf pathfinder release your past and start a new journey you're a teacher and help others find their way. There will be challenges, but your soul is strong. Perseverance is your secret power. You have a love that endures. So what I feel like here with this card, um, Taurus, is that, you know, maybe, you know, the past is in the past. You're moving on in a new journey. And I, and I feel like this could be a new connection here. And it's starting to deepen. And, you know don't doubt love don't uh, doubt yourself loving energy that you can love deeply again because your soul is strong it's about not giving up to keep going and that you can endure whatever comes your way some of you may be a teacher or maybe somebody could be a teacher in some way look at this we have perseverance and then we have ram perseverance that is just crazy so i think perseverance is the key here not to give up on life and love um taurus and the ram here does represent aries because i do believe taurus is the bull but um again with the horns it's kind of like the same energy or the antlers or whatever they are i believe they're horns so it says perseverance you have many gifts no problem can withstand the power of your mind with patience you can reach your mountaintop never give up and good luck will follow wow so this could be a very good prosperous connection coming in or that you're uh just connecting with taurus so let's see where this is going so that is the spirit of the animals oracle so um if you connect with any of the spirit animals there we have the wolf and the ram all right maybe someone could be dealing uh with an aries or have aries in their chart all right what do we have here for Taurus? And at the end, I'll also get you some advice and guidance here from the Butterfly Oracle. All right, Taurus, what does Taurus need to know? What is this heaven on earth and universal heart for Taurus? Hermit. So deep introspection here. This is Virgo energy to me, finding the path, the way, the light, maybe being a little reclusive, retreating our energy. So this could be you, someone you're dealing with, maybe spent a lot of time alone realizing you know what i am worthy of new love i am worthy of new things of new energy that you know i'm not going to give up 
though at times I feel like I want to or I should. Eight of Swords. So cutting those ties that bind, doing that deep introspection and realizing, finding the light here and realizing, you know, I can break free of this anytime I want to. It's just my mind keeping me um, stuck. What else here? Four Taurus. Four Taurus. Four of Wands. Very stable, grounded energy here. So, you know, you can be doing good in your own right. Um, you know, making your money. You know, everything's going really, really good on the home front. This is also my Soulmate Twin Flame card. Could be dating, getting to know, ceremony, celebrations, the world. So definitely closing out cycles, new cycles starting. Could be traveling or distance, maybe online communication or a connection. Doesn't have to be though. So we have Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or Scorpio. New cycle coming in for sure. Could be with a soulmate or a twin flame. But releasing ties that bind of the past or realizing, you know what, I don't have to keep myself stuck. In any kind of energy i am worthy of new things ten of pentacles <laughs> growth abundance wealth prosperity between two for a lifetime this new cycle coming in for you could be a lifelong uh, partner for you here taurus all right you are part of the world card just taurus energy the moon so there could be some fear surrounding this that's pisces energy not seeing the path clearly illusion but it's having to trust intuition higher knowing knowing that everything will be fine to keep going on this new journey on this path the hermit will light the way your inner light your inner guidance will light the way to pers persevere not give up on the new that is feminine energy with the moon the star the star and the moon will light the way for you not to worry the stars and the moon so we have aquarius energy here faith hope optimism wishes dreams coming true divinely guided energy something meant to be taurus all right what else here for taurus queen of wands again this could be aries or fire sign very strong, fiery, passionate energy, go-getter kind of energy. All right, so this could be a uh, fire sign coming into your energy. Three of Cups could be somebody that you know through uh, socializing, community, you know, maybe co-workers or friends or whatever here. Or maybe you're just on the dating, decide to get out there on the dating scene. You know, maybe you join, join some online I mean, that's not for everybody. Dating sites, I mean, some people do that. Tower brings in a massive shift and change here. Aries energy again. So you could have an energy, maybe you, you know, finally put yourself out there and you've met a fire sign. Maybe an Aries, doesn't have to be. I mean, we have Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, uh, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, Virgo. So, I mean, literally could be anybody. But massive shift and change, surprise, awakening, epiphany, aha moment. A shift something happening here eight of cups so i mean that could be walking away but walking to something more fulfilling that is more suited for you so definitely walking away from the past or was no longer serving you maybe that's what came crumbling down could have been a marriage or long-term commitment ending of that six of pentacles balancing out your energy this is the minor of justice for me so maybe some of you are recently divorced or um, separated, but things definitely, definitely balancing out here. So, you know, you could have, I mean, this could have been in the distant past, recent past, but I feel like you have a new energy here, a new connection, because we see this pinkish energy going to this deep red, which is like, pink to me is like new love, you know it's a new love and then the deep red is the love deepening universal heart two hearts that beat the same the same frequency it's too many all right pathfinder so finding your path your way not perseverance puts you on the path of alignment here with the star energy in the moon even though you may not see it to 
maybe a true soulmate here. Six of Cups, wow, past life energy. Or it's returning to someone from the past, maybe a childhood sweetheart, um, someone you dated a long time ago. Maybe somebody has children. All right. Wheel of Fortune. This is Fate and Destiny, Divine Timing. Sagittarius here, or again, Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, or Scorpio. Something meant to be. Luck, Destiny, Fate. Things getting better, going in the right direction. Something is meant to be here, either with a reconnection to a childhood sweetheart or a past life connection. Hmm. Huh. All right, let's see here for Taurus. Five of Cups. So, you know, three cups here spilt over from the past, but there's two, still two standing, which she is holding. So there is still a soulmate out there for you. And until you follow that path, get on that path of alignment, not give up, persevere, then the wheel starts to turn here. Again, it could be a re two sixes here. Very divinely guided, um, healing, balanced energy. All right, so let's see where this is going. Is this somebody from the past, or is this somebody new that feels like you've known them forever? Very comfortable feeling. Nine of Wands. Again, there's that perseverance, not giving up on life and love. And when you get in that energy of not giving up on yourself and find your new way, your new path, and persevere then balance out your energy then love comes in here six of wands success and victory three sixes um so we have the we don't have the swords oh wait a minute i thought we did have the six of swords here no okay so six of wands success victory accomplishing something that can be an offer coming in. Magician manifesting a new beginning, past life energy, Gemini Virgo. There's a new beginning waiting to be happened here, to be manifested. Once we persevere on, feeling good and confident, successful, being in this energy of manifesting what we want, turning this wheel of fate, fortune, and destiny. All right. Only you can turn this wheel, Taurus, if you choose to. All right, Taurus. Knight of Wands. Sagittarius energy. You know, sometimes they consider this the player, but I consider this a lot of times someone who is a go-getter, goes after their ambition, their passions. They have the drive, the willpower, the determination to make things happen. They take action. They just don't say they do what they say all right i mean you could see the knight with the magician as someone who's a player or manipulative but i'm not really getting that they were reversed i would say yeah but hangman pisces energy needing new perspectives taurus enlightenment new perspectives broader scope of things and then we take action so don't stay in limbo too long here. I either feel like you have this new love coming in or this is a new connection that you're unsure about. But don't give up on it just yet. I feel Taurus. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Death. So Scorpio energy here. Definitely transition here. Something ending. New life beginning. Leaving the past behind. Someone here, you know, leaving behind here in transition and healing towards the new three of wands and manifesting something here but waiting so again something is waiting out there waiting for you to manifest it pisces uh pisces i'm sorry i just did pisces taurus page of pentacles there's the offer somebody kind of watching there's the ace of pentacles promise of a new beginning for long-term growth abundance wealth prosperity and the Ace of Swords behind that. My Divine Clarity from Source. Awakening, Epiphany, Aha Moment, Truth, Clarity, Cutting Away, Energy, No Longer Serving. Honest, Truthful Communication. Eight of Wands, Travel, Action, Communication, Cupid's Arrows. 
chariot, something moving forward quickly, could be traveling or distance, balance, success, victory, achievement. Oops, what the heck is happening here? Queen of Swords, Queen of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, putting in the work here. I did see other queens, so I feel like um, we've got the Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Did we have the Queen of Cups show itself somewhere here? Because if we did, that would be, maybe not, that would be the Empress. So getting back into your Empress power, um, Taurus, maybe not. Hierophant, wow. Four of Swords, Ten of Cups, the Sun. Yeah, you, you could have all this great, great energy coming into you, Taurus, but there needs to be, again, healing, transition, transformation and if you're worried um if this connection is going to move forward into something deeper I, I would say probably yes but you're going to have to see it through and see where it goes don't give up on it see a very balanced energy here and you know just see where it goes all right so let's get you some advice and guidance could it go to the ten of pentacles up there Though I do feel like you left behind either a marriage or a long-term commitment. All right. What do we have here for Taurus? What do we have here for Taurus? Advice and guidance. You can create your, co-create your heaven on earth with this person. Creating your own universe. Sharing, again, the same heart, the same heartbeat. Deepening the love. I do see it there. All right. Don't give up on life and love just yet, Taurus. All right, so let's get you some advice and guidance. If this does resonate for you, please do give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Let me know how it resonates for you. And again, everything you need to know about me in this channel is down below. All right, Taurus. Leaving. Yeah, leaving the past behind for the new. It's time to move on into the new. Don't leave this before it has a chance to flourish and grow. Because I do see growth here with the flowers. And you see the pink here for new love. So definitely new love here. Join in. Okay. I'm going to keep getting like, don't give, don't give up on this, you know, just see where it goes, you know, be part of this new connection, you know, put in the effort. Realization epiphanies. Yep, we did see the Ace of Swords. The Tower can be a big realization epiphany awakening. All right. Aha moments. One more, and then we'll get one from the bottom of the deck for Taurus. Healthcare change. Well, this has been coming out a lot too. So someone could work in the healthcare um, field or medical field, or somebody's making. A healthcare change or maybe if you're wanting to be more healthier maybe you need to join in some healthcare um, health regimens or something all right that could be a separate message for some all right I was just gonna do the bottom of the deck so what am I doing all right hobbies okay this could be someone that you meet through some uh, common interest of some kind or you have met through common interest uh, activities also could have started out as a friendship because we do have yellow here but i think it's moving in a deeper direction because we see the colors deepening here also and again it could be you know going from friendship co-work or something like that into new love and it's definitely uh deepening here i feel taurus okay taurus that's what i have for you so again i hope this helped i hope it resonated again thank you thank you and again, leave a comment if you like to. Wishing you the best, sending you many light, love, and blessings. And I shall see you next time.